In this video, we'll be discussing about plant hormones. We know plants are immobile organisms and are devoid of any nervous system. And it's these plant hormones that regulate the growth of plant. These plant hormones act as a signaling molecules and these hormones are produced within the plant and occur in extremely low concentrations. These plant hormones are produced by the cells of plant and not only regulate growth of plant but also determine the formation of flowers, stems, leaves, the shedding of leaves and development and ripening of fruit. Altogether we can say all physiological processes are under the control of these plant hormones. The following are the hormones that are produced by the plants. Auxins, abscisic acid, cytokinins, gibberellins and ethylene. Generally we study these major hormones of the plant. But there are other hormones also like we have brassinosteroids, strigolactones and jasmonic acid from jasmonates. First of all, let's see the precursors of these hormones. The auxin has an amino acid precursor that's tryptophan. When we will see the biosynthesis of the auxin, we will be able to see how the tryptophan gives us the auxin. And also we have ethylene derived from amino acid methionine. These two have the amino acid precursors. Then we have other plant hormones. We have abscisic acid, cytokinase, gibberellins, brassinosteroids and strigolactones. These four hormones have isoprenoid compound precursors that's IPP. And the last one that's jasmonic acid has an alpha linolenic acid precursor. Now let's see the functions of these hormones briefly. We will not go into the detail of the function, we will have an overview of functions. First of all, we see the auxins. The auxins have the role in cell division, root initiation, xylem differentiation and other different functions also, which we are not going to discuss here. Then we see the abscisic acid, which causes bud and seed dormancy, leaf senescence and abscission. Then we have cytokinin hormone which regulates the cell division and shoot formation in the plant. Then we have gibberellins. Gibberellins play a role in storage molecule mobilization during seed germination. It also regulates stem elongation and pollen tube growth during pollination. Then we have only gaseous plant hormone that's ethylene, which stimulates fruit ripening and also induces leaf and flower senescence. Then we have brassinosteroids. Brassinosteroids helps in the cell elongation and cell division and also resistance to the stress within the plant. Then we see strigolactones that causes the inhibition of shoot branching. And the last one that is the jasmonic acid, it produces defensive proteins against parasites. So these are the major functions of these hormones which are not going to be discussed here. Although there are various other functions too mediated by these hormones but these are the major ones. So this is all about plant hormones and the types of hormones found within the plants. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.